Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from Crispy Productions, and a couple days ago, Android Pie was released. This update contained many major and minor revamps to the functionality of Android. And overall, I'm a pretty big fan of it. But in today's video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about Android Pie. Let's get started. So if you don't know, I have a Pixel 2 XL that I use as my daily smartphone, and the Pixels get all of the latest stock Android updates. I'm using Android Pie Raw, just how it is. No skin launcher or anything. To begin, the main difference everyone sees at first between Android Oreo and Pi is the newly designed UI. So it seems like Google has gone from a boxy look with sharp corners to a smooth and rounded look. When using Android Oreo, I felt like the design was a little bit too sharp and jagged. With Android Pi, for the most part, functionality has stayed the same. For example, the notifications have rounded corners, and the control bar at the top of the screen now has circle icons. I feel like this is a noteworthy upgrade and is progressing the design of Android in the right direction. That's only my opinion. Now the whole design of Android has gotten a little more colorful and vibrant, just a little bit. When you go into settings, all the different tabs of colors, when as before, icons were just black and white. Another way Android has gotten more colorful, kind of, is by allowing you to select light or dark mode in settings. Before, Android automatically set the mode by the color of the wallpaper you had. So if you had a light wallpaper, you would have light mode enabled. And if you had a dark wallpaper, you would have dark mode enabled. I really like how you're able to customize this to what you want, because in my opinion, the stock beach wallpaper looks really good with the dark mode enabled. I like how the notification bar is light and the drop down menu is dark. It fits my Pixel's panda color scheme very well. I really like this feature a lot, and it shows that Android is ahead of iOS when it comes to design customization. Animations have also gone through a slight change. They now open as a square and fade downward when you close the application. This took me a little while to get used to, but in the end, it grew on me. That's really all they changed design-wise. Functionality-wise, the OS has stayed the same, except for one major difference, the navigation button. So before in all other versions of Android, I'm sure you know there were three buttons. Button to go back in applications, a home button slash Google Assistant button, and a multitasking button. These three buttons were replaced by one single button in this new version of Android. This button looks like a squash gesture control bar on the iPhone X, and it kind of acts like it as well. This button does and even outperforms the previous three buttons. Here's what you can do with it. Swipe up to access the app switcher, swipe over to the left or right to navigate through the applications, swipe up again from the bottom to access the app drawer, and swipe left in any application to jump to the app next to it. The arrow back button still pops up in apps. Overall, I find this system pretty intuitive. This whole system helps me navigate through Android more efficiently and effectively. Usually, I would never use the app switcher button, as I really only use the home button and the arrow back button. Now I find that these buttons work together in unison, and I overall do enjoy the system. I do have some gripes about it that I don't like, like having to swipe up two times to access the app drawer. Before, I could swipe up from the middle of the screen and get to the app drawer like that. Now it feels like it's an extra step to get to something that's pretty important. But overall, I like where Android is going. I believe that the whole purpose of Android is to have a system that's very easy to use, but also customizable. Google's progressing this idea further and further with this new software. It's easier to use, looks better, and it's more intuitive. But yeah, if you have any questions about Android Peppermint, I mean Pi, 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 please post them in the comments down below. Bye.